Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you some uh, useful add-ons uh, for Firefox that will make searching uh, torrent sites and any other site pretty much that you want to search easier. So, and the add-ons uh, that will be used will be listed off to the uh, right for the uh, under the uh, video description. Okay, so add-ons that I am referring to in particular are add to search bar auto context context search Firefox search sidebar multi-search and Scroll search engines is a nice one. It's not required, but it is a nice uh, addition. And I'm going to show you what each of these uh, add-ons do. All right. So uh, let's look for a site here. Let's go to uh, what.cd. Login. All right. So here's your first uh, torrent site. Okay, and your search engines up here uh, to search with. Let's suppose that you wanted to add uh, what CD to the uh, search engine so that you don't have to visit the site to search for it. Well, what you would do, and this is the add to search bar extension that's doing this, is you would find the search box that you wanted to use. In this case, it's going to be torrents. Right click into the search box. Go down to add to search bar. Now after you do that, it's going to bring up a window and it's going to, you know, allow you to set the name. I usually take off the uh, any other things added to the uh, name just so it's the site name in this case what.cd and you can change the icon <coughs> if the uh, site doesn't have a um, favorite icon set which is the little icon that appears up here but I don't really leave it blank and uh, or leave it as default unless it doesn't have one and then you hit OK and then as you see it is now up here and then it also gives you options to add the other search box if you want but we don't want to worry about that right now we just want the default there Okay. here's another example of what you can do with it let's go to newsbin okay. search box right click add to search bar and now we have newsbin and what.cd so if I'm say sitting at Google and I want to search newsbin I'll type in test in this case and there we go we get the search results with test now that's the add to a uh, search bar extension working okay the um, next uh, add-on slash extension that I'm going to show you is the uh, Firefox search sidebar and what this will do is if you go to view sidebar view search sidebar is it will show each individual search engine that you have added so let's say that instead of looking for uh, a certain file or torrent you don't want to just go by each one individually that would take forever so you would get to the search sidebar click the ones that you want to search and I would type again test and it opens up both tabs with the results of each there's test for what.cd and newsbin and this will work with as many as you uh, add All right, that's that add-on alright the next add-on that I'm going to be showing you is the multi search add-on and these all play very well together I spent some time finding some uh, good search add-ons that would play well together and these all do a pretty good job of that the um, multi search add-on is similar to the other add-on the Firefox search sidebar only it differs in that you do multiple searches on a single site so let's say that I wanted to search for test okay I'd hit enter there goes test and let's say I want to search for test one there's test one that's going to take forever so instead of doing that you would go test comma test one comma test two comma test three comma and then hit enter and then you've got each individual search result displayed in its own tab of course these don't have any because test one probably is not going to show up 
but that's how you would do that. And that is the multi-search add-on. It comes in handy a lot. Uh, let's see, the next add-on is going to be auto context. Or let's, uh, let's show you the um, search with context first. Let's uh, suppose that I was trying to fill some requests on what.cd. I go to request area and I want to search on newsbin to uh, try to fill the request. What I would do is I would well, let me go ahead and disable the uh, this other add-on otherwise it's going to mess things up. Uh, auto context. Disable it and restart Firefox real quick. Okay. Let's say that I want to search Newsbin for uh, hmm, Earl Van Dyke. Okay. I would select it. Right click. Search for Earl Van Dyke. And then I will click Newsbin. And then Newsbin is going to ask me to log in because I restarted the browser. Okay, nothing found, but you get the gist of it. That's how it works. You select something. Don Tyler Watson. Right click. Search for Newsbin. And again, no results, but that's how that works. Okay, let's go ahead and enable the auto context add-on. And restart. Auto context basically simplifies the task in that you don't have to right click so if I highlight something let's see here as soon as I finish highlighting it pops up the uh, context menu and this context menu is configurable through the um, auto context add-on so that you can add more entries into this pop-up so as soon as I finish selecting this pop-up comes up I don't have to right click if you want it to go away you can set the um, timeout on the um, pop up so that if you're off of it for more than a second it disappears. So all I have to do to do a search is select the word, let go. Let's try that again. Select the word, let go. Search with newsbin. And there's the presets. Let's see what what were they requesting? No. Not on there. Anyways, uh, that is how that works. Um, let's see, the other add-on that I wanted to show you was, let's see, I showed you multi-search. Um, scroll search engines is nothing more than allowing you to use your mouse wheel to scroll through the engines up here instead of having to click. That's all that does. It's pretty simple. It's not required, but it's useful. Um, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.